Hello there. Welcome with a new lesson 4.2 Precision and Greatest Possible Error. Our objective for this lesson is to find the precision and the greatest possible error of a measurement. The precision of a measurement is the smallest unit with which the measurement is made. We can find it by determining the position of the last significant digit in the measurement. Then change it to 1 and make all digits to the left and to the right zeros. And if you find half of this precision, then this what we call the greatest possible error. Watch these examples with me now. In this table in front of you, we will show you some examples how to find the precision and the greatest possible error for a measurement. We learned in the past lesson how to find the accuracy. So let us review that with these examples. First example, suppose that we have this measurement. We learned how to find the accuracy. Start counting from the left from the, non, the first non-zero number. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant digits. So the accuracy here is 6. Now the sixth significant digit in this measurement was this number. So change it to 1 and all numbers around it make them zeros. So this is our precision. Now this precision divided by 2 you will have the greatest possible error which is this number. Another example. Suppose that we have this measurement. The accuracy here. We will start counting from the first non-zero number from the left. One, two, three. So we have three significant digits which is our accuracy. The last number we counted is this number. So we change it to one and change all numbers before to zeros. And this is our precision. Now divide this precision by two. You will have the greatest possible error for this measurement. Example 3, the accuracy here is 2. Last number counted is this number. Change it to 1 and the number before is 0. No need to write it because it will still 1. So it is 1 volt. This is our precision. Divide it by 2. You will have half as a greatest possible error. Another example. Accuracy here is 3. Last number counted is this number. So the precision we will change this to 1. We have 2 digits before, 3 digits after. No need for these 2 zeros here. So our precision is 1000 volts. Divide this number by 2. You will have 500 volts as a greatest possible error. Another example here. In this example, 
we have attacked zero. Our accuracy is five. But the last significant digit counted was this zero here. So we'll change it to one. There is a zero after it. And all numbers before are zeros. But we don't need to write them. So let us get rid of them. So our precision is going to be 10 feet. Divide this number by 2. You will have your greatest possible error, 5 feet. But what if our measurement is given to us as a fraction or a mixed number? Let us see some examples on that. Suppose that you are given 3 eighths yard as a measurement. You will not be asked to find the accuracy here. Because this fraction can be written in several ways. 3 over 8, 6 over 16, 9 over 24. So, if you simplify a fraction, you will have many shapes of it. So, we can't ask you about the accuracy here. So all fractions or mixed numbers measurements, there will be no question on accuracy for them. But if you are asked to find the precision of them, simply write the same fraction with the same denominator, but with a numerator of one. So we have one eighth yard as a precision and the same way divide this number by two you will have one over 16 yards as a greatest possible error another example suppose you are given seven and three tenths inches as a measurement there is no accuracy. The precision here is one tenth inch. Divided by two, you will have one over 20 inch as the greatest possible error. A final example, five and nine over 16 miles. Our precision here is one over 16 mile. And the greatest possible error is 1 over 32 miles. By this, we reach the end of our lesson. I hope by these examples, everything was clear to you. See you in another lesson later.